Let's take a look at a specific example involving a radioactive isotope called polonium-210. This is an unstable element that decays to release alpha radiation. When outside of the body, this radiation doesn't penetrate into the skin. The concentration of polonium-210 from natural sources is generally low, so there is no harm to receive large radiation exposures. The presence of polonium-210 is due to naturally occurring uranium in soils which decay into polonium-210. Additionally, it can also be found in calcium phosphate fertilizers. Thus, many plants, foods, and tobacco also contain polonium-210 in small amounts. For example, you can find polonium-210 in the leaves of spinach and broccoli. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's dangerous. Our bodies have polonium-210 in them, and three quarters of that comes from the food that we ingest. Our body removes 50 to 90% through body excretions like sweat and feces. However, the remaining amount enters the bloodstream and accumulates in organs such as the spleen, kidneys, and liver. However, if you smoke cigarettes, then you're aerosolizing the polonium-210 in the tobacco and inhaling it into your lungs. This exposes your lungs to polonium-210, which also exposes your lungs to damage from alpha radiation and increases your risk of lung cancer. The polonium-210 in your spinach or broccoli isn't dangerous unless you decide to smoke it. 